Hello my lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you can tell by the title of the video, my Make Beauty order is here. They just launched some. They call them eye contour stilo. Uh, so basically a matte eye shadow stick. <laughs> the advertising, the marketing for this was very smart because it pulled me in. It's basically just a matte shadow stick. But the tones that they picked for them are very neutral, very... Um, like skin friendly that are meant to sort of contour your eye. So that is the main reason why these attracted me. Okay, enough chit chatting. Let's go ahead and get started with this review and this video. Okay, before we get started with me actually applying the makeup, let me go ahead and talk about the new products. I purchased two of the eye shadow sticks. They are calling them the Eye Shaping Stilo and this new Creme Supreme High Impact Lipstick. This is also a newer launch. Um, I think there's maybe one or two more things that I haven't purchased that they recently launched, but three, these are the three most recently launches from Make Beauty. So these eye shaping stilos are uh, available in 10 different shades and it retails for $22. I will talk about the amount of product in here, don't you worry, because that's apparently a huge disappointment with a lot of people. So this versatile for a one eye defining stilo is designed to shape and sculpt the eyes for added depth and dimension shade shape contour or define eyes with a range of buildable nudes and neutrals that complement all skin tones and eye shapes formulated with advanced film forming polymers this stick easily blends onto lids and locks down for long lasting wear with a soft matte i only picked up two shades um Altitude and Horizon. So there is some with cool undertones, some with warm undertones, some with neutral undertones. I feel like the main goal for these is to make sure that they complement all eyelids of all different skin tones. I feel like that is the main purpose. Eye Shaping Stilo Cream Matte Eye Stick. Okay, and the other new product that I purchased, the Cream Supreme High Impact Lipstick. Comes in 20 different shades. That's a pretty crazy shade range. But you know what? They're known for like their interesting shade ranges. Okay, so I picked up the shade Equilibrium, which looks um, like a mauve pinky tone shade. Okay, so these retail for $26 and this modern, this modern refillable cream lipstick is formulated with concentrated pigments, vitamin E, and advanced emollients that provide vivid color for long-lasting, comfortable wear with a creamy, glossy finish. Okay, that sounds fun. All right, so as you can see, I don't have any makeup on. I will be doing a full well, not a full face, but I'll be using all of the Make Beauty products that I do have in my collection. I'm just not going to like take my time to talk about all of them just because this video is going to be super long and I really want the main focus to be on these three new products since I already know the brand and I do really enjoy it. It's a very minimalistic kind of brand, so that is not your vibe. If you don't have similar makeup taste to me, then I don't think it would be a brand for you, but I personally do really enjoy it. So let me go ahead and get the foundation and concealer from Make Beauty on and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so as you saw, I applied the 
foundation or tint that Make Beauty has to offer and the concealer. So this is the Radiant Skin Tint in shade 4 Ginger. I do really enjoy this, but as you can see, it's a pretty glowy product. So I do powder it. For me personally, I need to powder it just because it's such a dewy product. For the concealer, this is the Skin Mimetic Concealer and I have it in shade 5 Medium W. This is a very lightweight concealer. Do not expect full coverage with this because you're not going to get it. But the finish of it is so natural. It literally looks like your skin. It is so pretty. I enjoy both of these products. Okay, so I'm going to jump into some cream, uh, contour cream bronzer. And then I will also be using the cream blush that Make Beauty has to offer. And then once I'm done applying that, I'll come on and talk to you real quick before we move on to the next thing. Okay, so as you saw, I went in to uh, the Victoria Beckham Contour Stylus in Travertine, which is the lightest shade, and then the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer in Light Medium, and then I went in to the Make Beauty Blush. So this is the Dewy Gel Cheek Tint Heat Stroke Blush Stick. <laughs> Um, I have it in the shade Swelter, and as you saw, it blended out like a dream. The beauty about this product as well is that it actually works pretty amazing on top of powder. Okay, now I'm going to jump into some powder. This is the Diffusion Set Translucent Pressed Powder. I purchased the shade Translucent Light Medium. I believe there's only like four or five shades in this. Um, it's pretty translucent. It's not the best at holding the dewiness of the Make Beauty Skin Tint. So I feel like they definitely need to maybe bring us a more mattifying kind of powder to help with that. But if you use it with something else, it does work pretty well. I use it mostly for the perimeters of my face. It does not contain the oils for my t-zone but it is a really good lightweight powder so I'm going to apply this and then I think we'll move on to the eyes finally. <laughs> Okay, here is what the face is looking like and the brush I used is a Make Beauty brush. It's just the powder brush, I believe, when the setting powder came out, this brush came out with it. Uh, I purchased this because I saw uh, Alexa Chan and she really enjoyed it. It does look pretty luxurious and the handle is actually pretty heavy duty. Really been enjoying that brush. For my under eyes, Makeup Forever Pressed Powder in Ivory, Dominique Cosmetics for my T-Zone. Okay, now let's start with the eyes. So these eye shaping stilo from Make Beauty. Here's what the outer packaging looks like. I do enjoy the aesthetics of Make Beauty as a brand. Um, not all of the packaging is super heavy duty, like this one here. It's glass, the concealer, and it does have a little window. But these little eye stilos, even though they look almost like Laura Mercier is what they're reminding me of. But aesthetically, I feel like they look pretty. I feel like they do look maybe like a higher end brand, but it is plastic. It doesn't have weight to it, but it doesn't feel cheap. I don't think it feels cheap. I just feel like they look a lot more luxurious than they actually are. Just a little FYI. Okay, I did see Khaki Reviews Makeup. I think that's the name of her channel. And she did already review these and I did see her review. She did warn that hers broke when she was watching. So I'm going to tread very softly. This is in the shade Altitude. Oh, so. Oh, so it's a pretty cool tone camel kind of shade. And then this one here is in Horizon and this one's more of a warm tone. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to mix these. <laughs> I think I will. 
they are literally melting like butter as i'm swatching these so pretty my twins are literally making all of the noise <sighs> they might not take a nap today so i'm trying to wrap this up okay i am not going to put on any eye primer i'm going to go in as is um i did pull out my vive uh, shadow sticks these are matte and i have two shades sand and hazelnut they're both like darker i might incorporate these in i'm not sure okay so i'm going to jump into altitude first and i think i'll use that in my crease It's probably gonna look a tiny bit gray. It's gliding on very nice. Okay, so this is the brush number 105. It's one of the IT brushes for Ulta. So let me go ahead and blend this out. Oh. That blended out so easy. <laughs> Literally melted like butter. Okay. Okay, make beauty, okay. So far, I'm not having issues with them breaking. Um, just Kaki did a review on these. She got them as PR. I don't receive PR, so I did purchase these myself. Okay, so this is definitely a, a cool tone kind of taupey shade on my skin tone. What did you say? Okay, so far, blendability, beautiful blend it out literally like butter very creamy very soft as i was swatching them i mean okay now i'm going to jump into the warm tone one hopefully it looks okay horizon i honestly don't know why i picked these shades i just did <laughs> okay this one i'm just gonna add here in the outer corner i think it'll be all right very creamy like you could see it's staying in the actual like packaging okay this is the sephora 19 brush let's see if i can i feel like horizon is that what it's called yeah would be more of an all over lid shade that i would use actually both of them honestly this also blended out really nicely don't worry, we are going to talk about the price and how much product you actually get. Don't you worry. Okay, so here's what both the eyes are looking like. I think both of these shades would be a one and done type of shade for me. Um, I'm only mixing them for the purpose of the video, but in real life, I don't think I would mix these two shades together. Like I would either wear one or the other. I am going to put some of the um the these are the only other like matte shadow sticks that i can compare this to because they're the, they're the only ones that i own that are matte i think the only other uh stick shadow that i own is like a one it's from kkw <laughs> and it's a shimmery shade okay so i'm going to swatch here sand right here this one feels pretty soft too not as soft as the make beauty though and then this one is in hazelnut, which is a tiny bit more brown. Yeah, they're not, they're not as soft as the Make Beauty. Okay, I'm going to add a tiny bit of this to the outer corner. And then um, we will talk real quick about pricing and how much product you actually get. And then we'll move on to the rest of the face. Okay, so I went ahead and added mascara and eyebrows. Um, they do have brow products. I just don't have anything for Make Beauty for my eyebrows. And I believe they also have a mascara. I could be wrong, but I don't own a mascara for Make Beauty. Okay, so let's talk real quick about price and weight for these products. So here are Thief Make Beauty. You can tell the difference in the diameter of how much bigger <laughs> these other pencils are. Can you see? So that automatically tells me there's a huge, huge difference in the weight. These Vive ones, how much is in here? 1.40 grams in the Vive. And I believe these retail, 
I want to say between $25 and $28. If I'm incorrect, I'll just put the exact price right here. And the uh, Make Beauty have 0.55 grams. So almost triple the product in these Vive than these Make Beauty. That's a third, a third of the product of like your normal size sticks. And it's only like a couple of dollars less. Product itself worked beautifully. I feel this looks very, very pretty. It has not creased. I have very, and I mean very oily eyelids. So, so far performance wise, I think they'll be doing okay. I'm kind of beating myself up for not picking up a darker shade, but I remember why. It's because I have this V1 and I have a dark shade, so I didn't want to pick one up that was similar to it. The only issue is that um, they're pretty much are chipping you because there's just so little product here, kind of like the Victoria Beckham. So, um, I'll give it an A plus for performance product. Ooh, okay. Well, the Vive are outlasting this. I'm wiping. And the Vives are like barely budging. Well, at least this top one, I'm rubbing pretty hard. Yeah, so longevity, the Vive already with the swatch is proving to be a better. So price and how much you get, I would give it like a C minus or a D because I'm going to put on some powder bronzer. I do have the Make Beauty powder bronzer. This is the Skin Mimetic Micro Suede Bronzer in shade Aura. And then um, I do have a powder blush from Make Beauty, so I'll apply that as well. And then uh, we'll move on to lips and end this video because my twins are creating chaos. I can hear them. That's the Okay, so for the blush, as you saw, I went into this Make Beauty blush. It's the Skin Mimetic Micro Suede Blush in Fuchsia Blush. It looks scary, but it's not that scary once you put it on the cheeks. Okay, and then I do have this lip oil, which is called the Pigmented Lip Emollient Serum Balm Intense. I have it in the shade Nude Nova. This is such a pretty, like natural like rosy brown shade i love this i feel like i'm almost yeah it's like at least halfway done aesthetics i enjoy the aesthetics of make beauty i feel like they did a good job on that okay so now we're going to jump into this new um lipstick the make cream supreme high impact lipstick this is the outer packaging I don't even know which side is up. <laughs> and this is the actual component itself. Very, very pretty. It's very long. And there it is. So let's swatch it. Ooh, okay. It feels soft. It feels like a balm. Like a balm lipstick. Okay, because of the nature of the shade that I purchased, which is... Equilibrium. Um, I went in with my Victoria Beckham liner or lip diviner in shade three, and I'm going to add this. Ooh. Very soft. Definitely feels balmy. So I don't know about long lasting. It smells like vanilla. No, vanilla cupcake. There's a difference. <laughs> And also very hydrating. It's a pretty thick formula. Pretty thick formula. Um, I wonder if it's going to get absorbed into my lips. Okay. Ooh, what? Um, where's the box? So this Cream Supreme High Impact Lipstick has 0.6 grams. Do I have any products like these? $26 is where it retails for. I don't think I have any actual... Oh, do I? Hold. Okay, the only other one I could find is this one from Makeup Revolution. It's from the collab with Soph. And this one has 0.9 grams. How much did I say this one had? 0.6 grams. So 
less than this product. This one's cheaper. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have too many products like these. So I wouldn't be able to tell you if this is like the standard size or if it's a little expensive for what it is. But formula wise, it feels very good on the lips. What does it remind me of? I don't know, but hydrating, pretty thick, but not uncomfortable or heavy. Okay, let me go ahead and gather my thoughts and then we'll finish up this video. All right, my lovelies. So, Make Beauty as a whole, I do really enjoy it. I think the brand is a very well-rounded brand. I enjoy every single product that I have tried. Um, I don't think I've been disappointed by any product. I think the powder is about the only thing, but, but I think it's only because it doesn't keep the doingness at ease for the tint that they do have to offer in their line. If they maybe made a powder that was a tiny bit more on the mattifying side, I think it would contain the dew of the tint. And I feel like when you create products in your line, you want them to work really well together. And I just feel like the pressed powder, the face powder and the tint, they could work on that a tiny bit. I did also forget to mention that I did jump into my Makeup by Mario Master Matte and I used this one here for my inner corner and then just a tiny bit of this one to kind of blend it into the rest of the eye look. That is the only shadow I laid down on the eyes. And then I did forget to mention where these products, the new ones that I tried were made and the um, shelf life. So. The Eye Shaping Stilo has only a eight month shelf life, which makes sense because I promise you if you use that almost every single day or very often, you would more than likely finish it before eight months. <laughs> Just being honest. And it was made in South Korea. I'm talking about the um, Eye Stilo. And for the lip product, this one has a 24 month shelf life and it was made in Italia. Okay, so overall, performance-wise, I'm not disappointed with either products, but for sure, as far as the eye shaping stilo, I feel like they dropped the ball on this one as far as how much product they're giving you, but I'm not disappointed with what I'm seeing. And for this lip product, it's actually really nice. Very interesting. I, of course, will have to keep using it and keep you updated, but so far, so good. I'm enjoying it. And I think the shade I picked up is like a beautiful, perfect shade that I would probably use. I don't think it would be too long lasting unless it like leaves a stain because I'm rubbing this and it's definitely sharing out. So I would say not like super long wearing. Okay, well, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. In case you were curious about these new products from Make Beauty, I will not lie, the advertising and marketing for the eyeshadow stilo. It got me. <laughs> All right, my lovelies. Well, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. You have no idea. All the comments, all the likes, if you use my links to shop, it truly means the world to me. So with that being said, I would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it and you would definitely help me out in the algorithm of hopefully bringing some new and fresh eyes to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you joined my small YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And as you can see, my child is waiting to say bye. Bye. <laughs> all right. I will see you all in the next video.